Hello everyone, and this is Daniel Smiley on behalf of Ozen Engineering Incorporation. I'm going to talk about MotorCAD application and this uh, section is dedicated to thermal analysis. This is a series of uh, MotorCAD uh, demo. In the last one we talked about the electromagnetic and in this one we'll talk about the thermal. Today I'm going to talk about uh, some introduction after that the initial input on the MotorCAD then uh, MotorCAD setup and then I'll show you the result. Just so you know, uh, we are a light channel partner of ANSYS. We uh, sell ANSYS software. We also do consulting projects on multiphysic finite element analysis, mechanical, CFT, high and low frequency electromagnetics. If you have any question or you have any project you need help with, please feel free to let us know. Here is our contact. We are in California, in the Bay Area and uh, you'll see you'll get this information or this uh, contact at the end of presentation as well. MotorCAD is a multifunctional simulation tool. Uh, today we're talking about the thermal and it has been in industry for over 20 years. It calculates temperature for motor component in both a transient and a steady state. Today We'll show you the details of a steady state and we'll show you how to run the uh, transient. It uh, gives a, it has lots of features uh, and parameters that you can set up. I'll show you these three pictures here as, as, as part of the result and I'll skip this one uh, since we're going to focus on a steady state. Uh, it has lots of cooling uh, type and you can see them here. Uh, the list Today we are going to use the water jacket, it could be axial or circumferential and that's what we are going to do in the simulation. As you can see there are many other types that you can choose from. And um, after that's done, yeah, you can see the cross section showing uh, axial temperature here. We'll show the uh, front view as well and some uh, section of the, the motor where you can see the temperature as a value or as a contour. Without further ado, I'll go to the simulation part. Here you can see the uh, ANSYS MotorCAD version 15.12. Uh, we chose just to recap uh, for people who didn't see the last video, uh, just for the for 30 seconds I'll go through some uh, brief introduction. It is a brushless uh, motor and last time we talked about the electromagnetic. Today we're going to choose the thermal. It is a 18 slot motor. It has uh, four poles and here is the diameter for housing the stator and the two feet are 19. Uh, as you can see we have winding here and that's in uh, to different uh, uh, taps, definition and position. And uh, we, uh, this is on like automatic, but you can customize it. And it, uh, for instance, here I may change it to nine and you can see how things are changing in the graph or on another section in the definition. We'll change it to, to AWG or you can change it to uh, rectangle if you want. For today, we're using the diameter input and you can change numbers here and see the effect uh, on your design. This uh, can be taken from the data sheet. What we're uh, showing here is taken from a uh, thesis. So uh, back to the uh, thermal part. As you can see, the housing is, is round here and the mounting is range so uh, we want to add some cooling so we go and uh, click on the housing water jacket the one that I showed you but please note that you'll see an error here it means that we need to specify that so as you can see it, it, nothing happens here there's also note up here there's nothing about housing water jacket 
So if I go back to geometry and instead of housing round, I choose housing uh, as water jacket. We will see changes here. Now the housing is activated and here you see a housing water jacket tab which didn't exist before. So let's go back to the geometry. Here is the radial view. We can also look at the axial part and as you can see these arrows shows the, the cooling sections. We can also look at the 3D part as you can see. Uh, so view the machine from a 3D uh, point of view. And there are different uh, features here that you can enable or disable. So once after that is done, uh, we want to, th that was about the geometry, we want to uh, give the system some inputs. Here we chose the natural conversion. Uh, we have the motor as a horizontal orientation. And here we have material that we chose for this motor. You can uh, change them. Uh, for instance, the housing, you can change pick any any component that that you want it's, it's a huge library part of it is here there are a lot more that we can import and uh, for the losses uh, here we have the losses model and you can choose it from this formula and these are the distribution this is the interface tab radiation and um, regarding the natural convention uh, these are the details that we can set and this is the housing water jacket and after that let's go to the calculation so for calculation we're uh, going to do a steady state as I mentioned please note when I once I go to a steady station uh, we have this coupling that are enabled so we're going to use electric magnet losses with thermal and we're choosing a model a 3d model uh, we will need to, to run the 2d model I'll show you later Shaft acid, we choose it as 3000. I'll solve the model and get back to you. I'll pause the video for now. Okay, the model the model is solved and you'll get this display, uh, message display that you can delete. As you can see, this is the schematic uh, overview. Each uh, color is uh, for uh, material for instance here it's, it's copper it's yellow here is another one that's copper here is, is yellow as you can see uh, here show the winding which is copper so that's why it's yellow as well here you can see the magnet part the, uh, that are all green and if you go look at the red one it's the stator lamination part and as you can see it shows the temperature for instance 68 here 68 over here or 64 over here and uh, these are these are the shaft the dark green ones are the plates and light blue ones are the end cap and here as well so uh, please keep in mind this color will stay the same in the entire software unless we want to do a contour uh, for instance if you go to the radial still these are uh, copper in the yellow even if I hover my mouse over them, it'll, it'll show me what they are. And as you can see, it says 68 degrees on this uh, magnet and 67 degrees on this magnet. Here is 68 and here is 67. And this copper is 68 degrees. And here on the stator lamination, we have 66 degrees. And these are also the detail if you wanna go uh, look at the table. If uh, we wanna look at the axial, section you will see the temperature here as well and uh, next is the FEA uh, simulation that we have uh, please note if I uh, click on the stator and hit the solve button it will give me this error because we need to solve it uh, in 2D as well so I'll go back and In the calculation tab, I'll choose 2D and click for the solve uh, thermal mode. I'll see you after the solution. Okay, the solution is done and this is the FEA model. As you can see, it shows the stator and these are the different uh, degrees for this contour. 
uh, you can uh, look at the radial view as well solve thermal FA and it will show the uh, radial you can also look at the rotor and it shows you that or the axial part and shows the FEA so there are also different uh, options here I'm, I'm not going uh, to go through many details here but if you have any question please let us know these are uh, very useful tools for our analysis and uh, keep in mind it has lots of different type and for each type as I mentioned in the geometry there are many many different uh, variation that we have uh, from the slot type to rotor type as you can see to mounting housing uh, rotor duct and the stator duct and uh, different uh, parameter that we can set so this is uh, the result and there's another way also to look at the result uh, I'll try to make it this uh, video short that that's why I'm going so fast and here we can see you know the temperature as a table or you can see the flow as a table uh, if you want you can go and please keep in mind this for the housing water jacket if you want to go to the temperature you know these are the different tab uh, the main one for instance the end cap the bearing and shaft these are the temperature for them and uh, here it's uh, when you want, if you want to look at the axial one the, the, the winding temperature for different winding and uh, this is the, the uh, graph uh, for them uh, thermal capacitance uh, winding as well and uh, many other uh, results that you can uh, check. Uh, there is also a scripting. If you want to do scripting, it's, uh, we are, it's capable of uh, doing that. So here I'll, I'll stop uh, this uh, so uh, talking about the software. Oh, one more thing that I want to mention is if you want to go to uh, a transient, you can choose the transient part. And we have two uh, model size for that to, to run it. Uh, thanks for your time and I hope you enjoyed uh, this video again. This is Daniel Smiley uh, on behalf of Ozen Engineering Corporation Please feel free to check out our website uh, We've done many projects that you can check them or if you have uh, questions regarding the software Feel free to contact us and you can you can talk to our uh, account manager Wish you a great uh, evening and